Hey guys, Joe here, doing a one take video game pickup video. Don't do that very much anymore just because, well, the big thing is I'm kind of out of money these days. So if you would like to maybe subscribe, use my Amazon affiliate link, or consider becoming a Patreon member, that would be awesome. It will help the channel grow. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about today's video. And today's video is about something Daniel and I do every year. It's called the Yard Crawl here in Virginia, Northern Virginia specifically, between Stephen City and Woodstock. It is a very long yard crawl. And what that is, basically, is the state's biggest yard sale. And it happens to run for 20 miles, depending on how you look at it. And there are some major places where you can find stuff, and then there's just everybody on the side of the road. So you have your choice on how you want to do it. We used to start at the top, work our way down the entire thing. We'd stop and walk a mile each way, and then get in the car, drive down a couple miles, walk. But we've learned our lesson, and we found three or four good spots where everybody congregates. And if you know how to look, you can still find the deals. Because this is Saturday when we did this. People were set up on Friday. And we still managed to find some cool stuff. I'm going to try to do this in chronological order of how we found it. But let's go ahead and start. As you can see here on the table, I think you can see it, yeah. All of this was at the yard sale, except that computer and monitor. Duh, those are mine. But let's go ahead and start. So, over here, we have a 160 gigabyte Sony PlayStation 3. This is the second generation, I guess you would call it. It's before the George Foreman slide top slims but it is technically a slim this is my favorite version it doesn't break it looks good and they are pretty darn reliable as long as you can get them to read you're golden they don't overheat like the old ones did found this system this stack of games which is madden 2011 bakugan cars 2 infamous and gran turismo 5 i'm not going to go ahead and pull them all out but that's the xl edition with all the extra cars and inside was Grand Theft Auto 5, and then this stack of games. That's a lot of games, so we'll go through them really quick. You've got a Dreamcast demo disc, Tomb Raider 2, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, and these are all scratched up, so I don't really care. Medal of Honor Underground, Madden 99, Bowling, because bowling, NFL Extreme 2, made by 989 Sports. Man, they did everything back in the day. They were like... Pre-EA, EA, EA stuff. And we got some Xbox 360 stuff. UFC th Undisputed 3. I can never remember if the 3 comes before the word or not. Anywho, it's my favorite UFC game. Uh, I wish you didn't have to retire after a certain number of fights. Spoiler alert. You have to retire after a certain number of fights. Mafia 2. Cases are junk, but they're actually not in bad shape. Plus, I have a box of cases in the closet there, and I may have some of these cases still. And then both of the discs for Max Payne 3, which I've never played, surprisingly. And I loved the first two Max Payne's. A couple of PS2 games, Monopoly Party, two copies, don't know why, and CSI, Crime Scene Investigation, Three Dimensions of Murder. They murdered them. So that's not bad. Pretty cool collection. Best part is... 20 bucks. He wanted 15 for just the system, and then we're like, okay, and he's like, you can take all the PS3 games for 18, and then he's like, I want 24 for everything, and I'm like, well, that's stupid. Would you take 20 bucks? I didn't say that's stupid to him, but I said, would you take 20? And then he was like, eh, so then I just picked up just the system. Here's a trick for you guys. If you want to get a better deal, walk away. Because if you're questioning it, don't even bother. Just walk away. Usually the other person will cave first. Not always going to happen, but usually. So he gave it all to me for 20 bucks. Not bad. I took it. We ran. Next, we went down the road from there. That was at the first major place. The next place we went to was just down the road, and it was a drive-in movie theater that was converted for the sale on that morning because they were showing movies the night before. So we go in there, and we're walking through, and typically we always find stuff to buy. It's not always the greatest stuff, but we always find stuff. Although we did pass on a Ruger air rifle that I kind of wish we didn't now. But anyways, we were looking at some cool stuff. Daniel was looking at this old-timey Browning 
emblem for Browning Firearms, and I noticed something on a table. And I also noticed in my peripheral vision that somebody was walking up very fast. And I don't know if it's just because I'm practicing watching my peripheral vision more or because I was carrying this morning and, you know, I wanted to be careful around people. But this, he was a very large gentleman. And it looks like he was up to full speed, if you know what I mean. He was just lumbering up behind me as fast as he could. So I look behind me. I look over to where he was kind of beelining for it, and I see a controller sitting on the table. Well, I was a lot closer. I was literally standing there, so I assume he was going to just try to barrel past me or something. So I just pick it up. And the controller I picked up was this one. This is an Xbox One Elite controller, and as you can see from the price tag, I paid $6 for it. It's not complete. It's missing one of the analog knobs, all of the back pieces, which is common, and it's actually missing its grip panels off the back. However, it works. And every button works. Every part of the control works. So I don't know why it was on this guy's table because he literally had nothing else like it. It was all old woodworking stuff. But I did just get an Xbox One Elite controller for $6. And all I have to do now is order a kit that will give me all the parts it's missing. You can go on eBay for $15 to $20 and order the nubs, the cover, and all those back paddles for the Elite for like $15 to $20, bucks, and then you have a complete controller. I probably won't put those back thingies on because I just use it for racing games on my computer and stuff. But yeah, I just sold my other Xbox One controller for 20 bucks, so to get this one for 6 bucks is awesome. My buddy Chris wants it. I don't know if I want to sell it, because replacement cost is still going to be anywhere from $75 to $100, depending on how complete it is on eBay. And more than that if you go through your local GameStop, which... So I took that and we walked off and I was laughing like a hyena. I was literally laughing out loud. Probably a little bit rude, but I thought it was funny. As we were walking through the rest of that place, we didn't see a whole lot. And as we were walking around the back of some of the stalls, I saw what looked to be a video game system sitting on the table of these Latino folks who were selling a lot of clothing and not a whole lot of electronics, that literally nothing other than a few sealed PS4 games, which Daniel picked a couple of up. But on the table was a Wii U. Wii U's are not worth much. You can get them for anywhere from $80 to $110, depending on how good the condition is and what's on them. But I decided to take a look at it, and we asked them how much they wanted for it, and they said $50. $50 is too much, because they trade in for $30, and me being a cheap, cheap, cheap bastard, I don't like to pay full price. So we walked away, he didn't get the PS4 games, and that was it. We were leaving, and as we were walking out, he was like, you know, I probably should have gotten those PS4 games, because they're actually worth some money. I said, just go back and get them. Just take a minute, run back and get them. I'll go get the car and I'll meet you and pick you up. So he goes off to buy them. I jump in the car, start it up, and on a whim I text him, I said, hey man, try offering them 30 bucks, see if they'll take it. Lo and behold, they took $30 for it, and it works. It does have a problem though. The HDMI port, hello, the HDMI port here on the back doesn't work, but the solution is to have an HDMI to Wii adapter. What this does is if you have an original Wii, you plug this in and it will upscale the 480p picture to a 720p or in this case a 1080p picture. Well, it works on this system as well and allows it basically as a pass-through for 1080p. It even gives you an audio out jack, which is kind of cool. So I went ahead and plopped that in there and it works. I wasn't getting a picture through that. I kind of cleaned it a little bit. I'm going to take the cover off the system and clean it out really well and see what I can do. But yeah, it powered on, the controller isn't locked. The biggest problem you have with an untested used system like this, especially from Nintendo, is if the parental controls are engaged or a parental lock is on. Because you can sit and dit, 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 dit the entire code, but it's 10,000 possible combinations. So that takes a long time and I didn't want to do that. But luckily it powered right on, went right to the sync. Uh, the gamepad worked fine, but once I got the video working, 
I was able to set the system up. It's ready to go. It has Super Mario World 3D already loaded on it. I put in uh, Sniper Elite V2 that I borrowed from Daniel. He picked that up to sell it, but I may buy it from him because I kind of like that game, that whole series, and we'll see there. So, yeah, awesome so far. So we leave there, we go down to the next place. Unfortunately, that was the last place we were gonna be able to go. We originally planned on being out for another hour, but we needed to open the gun shop. So we went and just did a quick walkthrough, and for $2.50, I got all of these video games. Several of them are PC games, but most of them are Xbox 360, PS3, and PS2 games, but they're all super scratched up. So I'm gonna to try to run them through a machine and get them cleaned up. But I also found a couple of sealed games. And by I found, I mean one of the guys that I know from the flea market said, hey man, how's it going? I didn't recognize him at first, but I did after we started talking. He sells a lot of vintage stuff at max price, so when he gives me a deal, it's kind of out of the blue. And he knows that I like to buy sealed games. So he sold me Peter Jackson's King Kong and Viet Cong. Huh, King Kong, Viet Cong. Anyways, both of these are sealed. He sold them to me for six bucks total. That's not bad. I like my sealed stuff. However, I also have started watching things like Amazon to see if they're worth anything sealed. These two games, sealed, will sell for a total of almost $50 on Amazon. So I'm probably going to wind up listing those because I do have an Amazon store. Anything else? Yes, Daniel found a few things for himself, some things to sell. We found a uh, Samsung Fitbit, basically. It was a Samsung Smart Fitbit watch thingamajigabobber that a lady was selling because she upgraded to one of those big dial ones from the small Fitbit version. So we picked that up for 20 bucks. It sells for about 50 bucks. And tomorrow morning, Daniel and I will go out and we'll hunt and we'll try to find some more stuff. But in the meantime, I got a bunch of stuff I have to clean. It's all been tested. I reset everything and it's all ready to go. So once I get it cleaned up, uh, we'll decide what to do. I honestly bought everything here for me, and he kept a few games that you can trade in at GameStop. But we were going to sell the Wii U for like a hundred bucks on eBay, but with that bad HDMI port, I don't think it's worth selling. Plus, I could use it as a tablet next to my, my computer I just for fun, and you can play Nintendo games on it. The PS3, I don't know what we'll do with it. I need to get a PS3 controller, but it's all set up now so I can use an aftermarket controller if I want but I may just turn that into a Blu-ray player, and then most of the games will go bye-bye, back where they came from. So, yeah, that's about it. I hope you liked that kind of video. It's been a long time since I've actually had a decent size haul to show off. And I will say that all of this was 20, 50, 56, 50, 58, $64 for all of this. So that's not bad, $64 for Two working systems and all that stuff is fair in my book, especially when I could sell just the Elite controller and get more than that, or I can sell the PS3 and get more than that, or I can sell the Wii U and get more than that. I don't know. I, I just kind of wanted them for me, but we'll see what happens. So if you like that kind of video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you were at the yard crawl or if you do yard crawls in your area and what you may have found. I love reading and seeing what you guys find please consider subscribing and using the Amazon link. You don't have to buy anything you see in this video, but you can use it to buy anything else you want and help the channel grow at the same time. I will be putting up more videos, some firearms, some car, and maybe some updates on the video game stuff. So look forward to that. I make videos every Monday and Friday with a lot of interspersed and random videos between. But Monday and Friday, that's the key. Two times a week, guaranteed, unless I miss it but I always make a video anyways. You know what I mean. I'm going to get out of here. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. And, as always, I'll talk to you later.